y'all welcome back to my channel and it's time to cook a lean and green so i want you just to look at what i have on my counter can you guess what we're making we does this give you a clue we're making mini pepper nachos these little mini peppers we're going to use those for the shells for our nachos all right here's how i'm going to do it Okay, the first thing I did was brown my ground beef and preheat my oven to 375. All right, so the oven's getting preheated. This is 96% lean. All right, I'm using this taco seasoning. It's pretty high in carbs. Two teaspoons is three, car uh, three condiments because it has three carbs. Two teaspoons equals three carbs. So your condiments are one carb each. So if I put two teaspoons, I've already used three condiments. So this is for me and Scott, and we're probably, we're probably not gonna eat all this meat. So I'm gonna start with two and see how I, what I think. We like our taco meat, a very taco-y. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and put two more. If we ate the entire pan, that would be three condiments a piece, but I know we're not going to, so we're probably gonna count it as two condiments. Okay, there we go. So you just have to read the label on whatever taco seasoning you're using, or if you wanna make your own blend, you know, check your guide for your condiments so you'll know. But always remember a condiment is 30 calories or less and one carb or less. All right. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of water in there to get that kind of cooking down, all that flavor, yummy, while we go get our mini bell peppers ready. I'm gonna let that cook. Okay, so let's talk about it a little bit. All right, so my vegetables, my greens, for this dish are gonna be my little mini bell peppers that make like little boats, you know, instead of chips, you're gonna use the bell peppers. And I'm gonna actually put one serving of jalapenos because I love jalapenos. So here's my one serving of jalapenos I'm gonna kind of top on there. Scott doesn't like jalapenos, so he'll have more bell peppers. So mine are gonna be a little fuller looking because I'm gonna use less bell peppers, I think. Once I start stuffing them, if I realize, oh, I can't get it all in there, then I may do less jalapenos and more bell peppers. So anyway, so you just have to, when you're splitting your greens like that, like I'm gonna do two servings of the bell peppers, so I just take the one serving measurement, double it, and then I'm gonna do one serving of the jalapenos. Now, bell peppers are gonna actually, they're not gonna cook down like they would be for fajitas or something where they get really soft. They're gonna stay pretty firm. So I'm gonna actually use the raw measurement, okay? Because it's different cooked. It weighs one thing raw and another thing cooked. So I'm gonna actually use the raw measurement for sweet red peppers, because these are red, orange, and yellow, and that's the same, it's the same measurement for all varieties, okay? Let me get those ready. Gotta cut them in half, scoop them out, and get them on my um, cookie sheet and pop them in the oven for just a few minutes, just to soften up a little, and then I'm gonna put the meat in, the cheese, the um, jalapenos, stick them back in the oven. So I'm splitting my protein between uh, my taco meat and my cheese. And I'll tell you about that when we get there. But as I always say, don't worry about, oh, she's talking too fast. I can't remember what she said because I'm gonna post the recipe down in the little description box below, okay? Okay, so all we're gonna do is cut the tops off, cut them in half and get the seeds out. So here we go, we're just gonna cut them like that and cut them lengthwise like this. Oh, I should have gotten a little bowl, hold on. Okay, there's my little trash bowl. And then you're just gonna scrape all the seeds out and that membrane, get that out, just like that. All right, so let me, so you're just kind of creating a little shell. See that? All right, and then you just, I'm gonna put them over here for now and then I'm gonna weigh them to make sure I have the right amount. All right, so let me get these done. And then, so let me get these done real quick. Okay, 
Okay, got all those ready. Scott's not quite three servings, so I'm gonna tell him he could put a little salsa, you know, like um, picante, but we use the Mateos, so he can put a little bit of that on his if he wants to, to make the full, you know, his full three greens. And I actually, I'm thinking, because I was gonna, because I'm using 96% lean ground beef, so I get a healthy fat. And I was gonna split that between sour cream mixed with a little lemon juice to kind of pour over and um, guacamole. But I think what I'm gonna do is maybe, I don't know, I might put less jalapenos, do like a half serving of jalapenos, and then a half serving of Mateo's mixed with sour cream, and it's light sour cream, and pour that over the top instead. I don't know, I'm gonna think about it. I'll see how the jalapenos look, and if it looks like too many jalapenos, then I'll back off. But anyway, like I said, you know what? And this, this is the thing, guys, be creative. Take a base recipe like this, nachos, it's basically taco meat and cheese inside of a mini bell pepper. And then you need a healthy fat, condiments, get creative. Just stay within your healthy fat. Make sure you're not having too much or not enough and make sure you're not overdoing your condiments. Okay, and yeah, this is not a 15 minute one. I had to kind of take an intermission on those because one of my clients, um, who's also a coach now, she posted a picture of this meal last night on her Facebook page and my husband was like, what's Debbie eating? That looks really good. What are those? And I was like, well, let me go find out. And so he was really wanting the mini bell pepper nachos. So that's when we had to, yeah, cause this is not a 15 minute meal for sure. Not with the prep work. Okay, let me get back to it. Okay, I have separated them. You can see Scott's has a whole serving more than mine. Pop them in the oven for just about five minutes. Just let them kind of soften up, start cooking a little bit. And then I'm gonna start putting the toppings on. So I just realized, well, two things. You're probably wondering why I have on different clothes. I got hot. <laughs> it was cold this morning and um, I got dressed and I had to go run some errands. Then when I came home and started doing some work, I th threw off the shirt I had on, put on a sweatshirt because it was chilly because we had a lot of rain. And then when I started cooking, I was like, oh my gosh, it's hot. I gotta go. So now I have on a t-shirt. So yeah, this is the third thing I've had on today. Imagine that. All right, well, I said that this was not a time saver, but it actually is because I'm not using near all the taco meat at all. There's enough taco meat left over for Scott and I to have taco salad tomorrow night. So we have nachos tonight, taco salad tomorrow night. So tomorrow night will be definitely a 15 minute dinner because all we have to do is heat up the taco meat and build our salad. So it is a time saver. I made the decision that I am gonna have less jalapenos and I'm gonna mix my sour cream and my salsa to make like a little drizzle on top. Now I know my husband, he ain't gonna want, he's not gonna want sour cream, he's not gonna want guacamole, none of that for his healthy fat. So he'll probably just drizzle ranch all over those things. And that's okay, but here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, first of all, I've already weighed out the cheese and the taco meat. So that's our protein, that's the lean portion of our lean and green. Um, the peppers, the jalapeno peppers, and this salsa is the green portion. So two tablespoons of this would be, a fourth of a cup is a green. So I'm gonna do half that because I've already got half of a green right here. All right, so my healthy fat, this is light. So two tablespoons would be a healthy fat. So I'm only gonna do one tablespoon because I'm also gonna have some guacamole to finish out my healthy fat. All right, so one tablespoon of light sour cream. And then two tablespoons of my salsa. I love this salsa, y'all, Mateo's. It's really clean, it's very good. I'm just gonna mix it up. And it makes kind of like a taco dressing, I don't know, but it looks good. There we go. So that sour cream, that's half my healthy fat and half of one of my servings of greens. All right, so I'm gonna drizzle that on top of mine when they're done. Now it's time to put them together and get them in the oven. Okay, so I just kind of softened them up just a little bit. You know, I cooked them just a tiny bit, not much, cause you don't want them to lose their shape. And y'all, I've never done this, so, you know, trial and error here. All right, so I'm gonna fill the hamburger meat in all of my little, my little, or my little pepper boats. 
All right, you get the gist. I'm gonna fill those up, sprinkle cheese on, stick them in the oven. Okay, I got mine stuffed, and what I learned from stuffing mine, if you have some that are kind of squished up like this, open them up, get them flat, <laughs> because it's really hard to get the meat in the skinny ones. I really piled the meat on mine because I have fewer peppers than Scott. I, I don't think his will be near as overflowing as mine, but just kind of flatten them out and then fill them up. Here we go. Those are a thing of beauty. Now I'm gonna pop them in the oven and just let everything heat up and the cheese melt. I already put my jalapeno peppers on there. I added, I had to get a little extra cheese because a lot of my cheese fell off. <laughs> so, but I didn't get much more. That's pretty much, it was 1.3 ounces of reduced fat cheddar. Yum, here we go. And as I thought, enough taco meat left over for taco salad tomorrow. Now that makes this a time saver. Okay, I found him, and do I know my husband or what? He grabbed the ranch. <laughs> so, here's our nachos. Yum. Oh. Those look really good. All right, so, I mixed up my sour cream and uh, some of that Mateo salsa for mine, like, to drizzle over if I want. And then I also have one tablespoon of guacamole. That Yeah, just a little dollop for my nachos. And Scott has some hot sauce, you know, salsa if he wants to dip his in it and then drizzle this for his healthy fat. So let's get to drizzling and then let's try these. Oh, Cause drizzle, drizzle. we've never had them. I'm gonna drizzle. But it's so colorful. It's so pretty. If we had a little green in there, it'd be perfect. Yeah, we could have did, I guess you could do like uh, green bell peppers and like just slice them up. The mini ones are just like the perfect size. All right, I'm just kind of drizzling this around. He's drizzling his. So you see? Drizzle, drizzle. Oh, let's just pick one up. Oh. Here we go. Bam. What? <laughs> Maisie just caught up on the table. Oh well, we'll get her in a minute. Okay, what do you think? I'm gonna put a little guacamole on mine. What do you, you like them? Oh yeah, very good. Oh yeah. This is awesome. It's very. Now, so it is the, this, um, yeah, this is pretty time intensive because you've got to prep the peppers and that's the hardest part. And then you got to feel them. So it, it did take me a little while. Right. But I think it's worth it. We're going to go eat while it's hot. You ready? I am ready. Let's He's starving. Again. I am starving too. <laughs> All right, guys, y'all have a great day. Until we get back together again, as always, you guys just stay safe and you stay well. And, and we're, we're out. out. He always like does this, like, say your thing, honey. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye.